Hello, it's Joe Traits, and thank you for watching today. And today we're going to draw Pongo from 101 Dalmatians. Okay, so let's just start with a circle. We're just gonna do his head right now. Okay, and nice line coming down. Let's see. I want his nose like right here. He's gonna have his mouth open. Okay. And then I could draw the rest of his neck. Okay, and then here we're going to have like a, kind of like a weird triangle. It's his ear. Find it a little bit later, just trying to get some lines down that I want. Okay, so we're gonna do his nose. It's also kind of a weird upside down triangle. Okay, and the outside of his lip comes down like this, it goes up a tiny bit, and then back down. And we're gonna go all the way to almost his ear, right here. Okay, go down. Okay. And he has this squiggle line that's kind of his cheek and his smile. his nose is gonna go just barely over and then we're gonna connect to right here okay and then from there we're going to curve up okay and we have this here is gonna be his eyebrow even though dogs don't have eyebrows, Pongo does. Okay, and his other one, it's gonna be right here. Okay. his eye his big eyes make the same size right about here these level kind of looks like a big six I guess it's just kind of his eyelashes where his eyelashes would be okay and draw his eye in there to draw his face on this side and he has a little bit of a cheek okay all right now that we have that we're gonna draw his ear try to finish the top part of his head hold on we go right above his eyebrow to that ear. Like that. And then this is also black. Okay, and now we're gonna draw his other ear. It comes right from here. I'm gonna go up. 
do kind of a bowed line like that. And then after that, we're gonna go slightly down and then we're gonna curve all the way to here. We're gonna make his little ear. Normally I would turn the paper and draw my lines pretty straight, so I'm trying to be good. Usually I tape it down so I don't do that. <laughs> okay. So if you have this weird looking antenna thing, it looks like he's an alien right now. We're gonna connect a line from here to here. Okay. And this part is black. But this part is like a pink color. Or a mauve. Okay, now I have this top part done. I'm gonna do his mouth now. So let's draw the basic shape of what his mouth would be. I'm gonna just do it really lightly to kind of get how I want his mouth. Okay, so this doesn't need to be too dark because we're going to draw a tongue over it. Okay, so the tongue comes out like this. And... Kind of like that. And then we're gonna have a line that goes like this. Kind of show that that's his tongue. Okay, now we can make this part darker. This little tooth. Please excuse my children. Okay, so we have a line right here and a line right here. That's just the other part of his lip. Okay. And then we draw right here and we're gonna go up to about here. Right here. Right there. looks pretty good. So now we're gonna do his collar and it goes like this at an angle or kind of like a big fat U. And then we're gonna do a circle, kind of a half circle, we're not gonna finish it, right there. And then we're gonna do a parallel line to this U. So that's the rest of his collar. And then we're gonna do parallel line to this. Okay, kind of jumped the gun on that one. Okay, so. Okay, so there we go. We have his collar, his tags. We're gonna do finish some lines right there. Finish some lines right here. Okay, and we can darken this end. Okay, and he is a Dalmatian, so don't forget, he ain't spots. Okay, so got his spots. Okay, 
after you get all of that, and if you have a good eraser, which I don't have today, of course, my office keeps getting switched around, so. Um, after you get this all done, I would suggest either inking it or you can just clean up the lines with just a simple eraser. Um, if you want to get like a really nice eraser, I like the white ones or those moldable, those squishy gray ones that usually come in a watercolor kit. Those are really, really good erasers. I love those things. So after we get all our lines, Okay, get all our lines. Then you can start to color it in more. And yeah, my pencil does not have an eraser, so that's why I have to use a different pencil. But I don't know, for drawing like Disney stuff, um, I, I like the fat, this fat pencil. Like it's, I think it's a, well, it says it's a two, but. I just like them. They work out good. You can always um, ink this and then if you want to, you can paint it. There's not much color on it, but his mouth or his tongue and this part of his ear is like a mauve color. And um, his collar is red. But um, yeah, it's fun. Pongo is very fun to do. Um, I will do a body of Pongo later for people who wants to learn how to draw a dog body. And I think I'm pretty happy with how he looks right now. Once you get what you, um, how you want it, then I would sign it. Okay, and you are finished. Thank you for watching.